Hey guys, Matt Croissant here at McCarthy Chevy Buick GMC in Marshall, Missouri, getting you some information on this 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Kaka! Anyways, um, so very sharp looking vehicle. You've got a little bit of matte black on the hood, some nice LED daytime running lights, headlights and fog lights are also LED. You've got a nice alloy wheel set. Vehicle looks super sharp, honestly. LED tail lights, backup camera, front and rear receiver hooks, rear parking sensors, backup camera, privacy glass on all your rear windows with a heated back glass and a rear wiper. Tons and tons of features on the inside. And of course, because it is a Trailhawk, it's gonna be four wheel drive. Not just four wheel drive, but you're gonna have the multi-select terrain that Jeep offers. I'm not even sure if that's the right term. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But. Uh, very sharp looking vehicle for sure. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside. You do have keyless entry on these doors, so you can just place your hand in to unlock and then press the button to lock. You've got blind spot monitors as well as turn indicators on your mirrors here. And the mirrors are also gonna be heated for you. You've got a leather interior with red stitching with a power driver's seat that includes lumbar support. Power locks, windows, and mirrors, automatic headlights, a nice leather wrapped steering wheel that tilts and telescopes for you. Let's go ahead and hop in here. So, mounted on the steering wheel here, we're going to have a directional pad which is going to control your multi information display right here. Right now, you've got a speedometer. You can cycle through uh, various vehicle information such as your tire pressure coolant temperature, you know, just various extra gauges on here, your oil life as well, battery charging even. You've got your fuel economy information all right here. Average for this vehicle is at around 19 based on the previous driver's habits. Trip information's right here, stop start information, tons of customization on the screen. You can see your audio, various messages, set up your screen how you like it, and other items here. So. Um, on the left hand side you also have Bluetooth controls as well as voice recognition and then over here is going to be your cruise control options. On the back of the steering wheel you do have controls for volume as well as changing tracks and radio stations. Up above here we've got a nice little sunglass holder that's felt lined. Interior lighting here with a pilot light for nighttime driving which emits a nice soft white light into the cabin. Auto dimming uh, rear view mirror right here got a little bit of storage up above which is pretty cool for some smaller items um, nice large touchscreen on the vehicle you can see uh, nice radio information AM FM and Sirius uh, you also have uh, various media that you can add here via Bluetooth USB or on auxiliary port climate controls are gonna be right here for you as well you've got dual climate automatic temperature control in this vehicle so um, you've got it all on screen right here if you'd like or you can also switch that around and you have analog controls down here too which is pretty nice so um, moving on here you've got various Uconnect apps phone options as well as a compass that you can open up here uh, the vehicle is also equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so um, you can utilize your phone for navigation as well down below, um, you do have analog controls, as mentioned before. You've got a mute option, traction control. You can turn the auto off, on or off, which uh, turns the vehicle's engine off when you come to a full stop to help save fuel. You can turn the screen off, mute it, tune. Dual climate's going to be right here. Just put that on auto, set your temperature, and let the vehicle do the rest. Down below, you've got your select terrain system here. Four-wheel drive low, downward angle descent, a nice off-road mode, rear diff locker. You can set it in automatic, neutral, snow, sport, sand, mud, and rock. So you've got tons of different terrains that this vehicle can scale over. You've got a USB and auxiliary port here as well as a 12-volt outlet for charging. Shifter here with manual shifting capability. An electric parking brake. Pull up on this to engage. Press your foot on the brake and push down to disengage. Two cup holders right here. Nicely sized glove box, as you can see. Goes back pretty deep in there, actually. And then some ample storage in the doors, of course. Uh, it's going to be it for the front area. And of course, in the center console here, you actually have a second USB port along with a 12 volt outlet, coin holders, and deep well storage. It's going to be it for the front of this vehicle. Let's go ahead and check out our hatch as well as the back seats.
Back here you can see the nice same leather interior. You do have rear ventilation on this vehicle as well as rear charging capability. You've got uh, a total of four USB ports actually back here and it looks like someone got theirs uh, ripped out. So anyways, you have two type B and type C ports down here. Sorry the angle's kind of tough, um, but you also have a power inverter back here. So a total of five charging ports with the rear ventilation. Uh, rear passengers are also going to get to enjoy their own leather appointed armrest with cup holders here. Uh, very spacious vehicle, tons of headspace. Uh, you do have the ability to uh, not only recline these seats, but you can also fold them down too. You can remove the middle seat belt as well, so you have extra cargo space. Let's go ahead and check that out. There we go. So, tons of cargo space back here, as you can see. You've got a 12 volt outlet for charging, storage to the left, as well as the right here then you can actually lift this up. You've got your spare tire right here, roadside tools as well, and some extra storage space to the left and right of the spare. So um, highly equipped vehicle, highly capable for any terrain. If you guys would like any more information on this particular Compass, I'm uh, not Compass, but uh, Cherokee Trailhawk, head on over to McCarthy Chevy Buick GMC. Dot com. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any other questions or if you feel like I might have left something out that you'd like to know. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the vehicles that we're uploading to this channel on a daily basis for your informational needs. Thanks again, guys. We hope you're having a wonderful day.